presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate the growl and a problem with us yet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Always do your best. I love this card, man. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head. But without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 105, NASDAQ up 38, SP's up 7, gold contract up $10.30, trading at 1827 an ounce. We get silver up 41 cents, $24.57 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 92 cents, $82.19 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading down 17 ticks right now, 130. 109, the 30 year off 20 ticks at 162.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 242 ticks, trading 94.078. Euro is at 115. The yen is out here at 113.28 and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave is the head of product and managing director at direction.com, at Direction Shares. Uh, their website, you can just, their direction is direction.com. It's D-I-R-E-X-I-O-N. If you're on our website right now at TFNN, very easy. Just hit that banner. Dave Mazda, how you doing? Doing well. Happy to be back here. Absolutely, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we have all green. We get commodities running. Uh, we have a lot of different things that are happening in this market. You know what I'd love to talk about, Dave? We're coming up to, I mean, it's hard to believe, but guess what? We're going to be coming into 2022. And, you know, you've added so many ETFs that it's really cool that you can build a whole portfolio of them now. So can we talk a little about, a bit about your strategic ones and the thematic ones? Just, you know, because going forward, you know, people make, you know, basically you know, writing down, what am I going to do in 2022? And, I, and this is a nice way that they can have a really broad market inside a portfolio. Yeah, no, happy to do so. I think, you know, Direction's uh, best known for our leverage and inverse ETFs, really uh, for tactical traders. And I know uh, a lot of fans of your show um, are big users of some of the products there. But we've all, we also have a lineup of strategic and thematic ETFs. And these are really intended to be longer term holdings, right? There's not leverage embedded in them. A great uh, ETF that's grown significantly this year is the ticker COM. And that's our, actually our commodity strategy ETF. But what I love about this particular fund, and I think traders of commodities can appreciate this, an ear of corn is extremely different than a bar of gold, right? Yes. The drivers and are, um, uh, are, are insanely different. Um, and so it can be tough to own commodities for the long, for the long run. Totally. Um, but this particular fund uses a long or flat approach, meaning if a commodity is trending positively, its volatility profile looks attractive, the fund will actually be in that particular commodity. But if it's not, it will actually own cash. 
So it's a much more adaptive approach than traditional commodity strategies. So that, that fund I, I really recommend for investors looking for, especially when we're thinking about what 2022 looks like and the fact that let's let, let's call a spade a spade, however you want to define uh, transitory. We know we've yeah. seen an uptick in inflation. And even if it's not, um, even if we're not going to be you know, seeing the, the prints that we've seen over the last few months, um, we have to know the reality that we, we we're seeing pricing pressures and commodities can be a nice, attractive inflation hedge in portfolios. There's no doubt. And, you know, it, it, it's amazing to me that I don't know where these guys are living and these ladies are living, but there's no doubt that they're, they're not, you know, buying things. OK, um, listen, folks. OK. And now if you can just put this up for me for a second, I have what's inside the calm man that 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 is a nice arrangement of commodities dave you know because i can tell you flat out i'd love the gold market but i don't trade it in the futures market because the reality is is that it's too volatile man um and you know when you look at this you know we're talking cotton we're talking oil we're talking sugar we're talking wheat we're talking uh non-leaded gas you're talking copper you're talking uh crude wti and natural gas man that's a nice mix man I, that's yeah, and, it, and yeah, because the volatility uh, in these futures markets have been uh, pretty intense, man. You know, gold's, gold's not bad, I, and I've traded gold plenty of times, but silver you can't even touch, man. I mean, s silver inside the futures market, you might as well just, I mean, forget it. You hit the roulette wheel or something, do you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it just doesn't work. It really doesn't. Um, yeah, exactly, which is why I think this particular strategy has, has been so attractive. We've seen a lot of inflows this year. Um, you know, the other area that we are um, actually seeing renewed interest again, even as more people are going back in their offices, is our work from home ETF, yes. which is purely a thematic ETF. And the reason being is if you look at the performance over the last year, uh, it's beating the S&P 500, beating the NASDAQ, because the names in this particular portfolio, they're cloud names, they're cyber names, they're collaboration names. So whether people are back in the office, hybrid models, or, or anything in between, that's where companies are spending money. They're spending money on upgrading their technology, upgrading their cloud stack, making their employees more efficient, um, as opposed to necessarily spending it on traditional property plan and equipment. So the, the name might actually be a bit of a misnomer at that, this point, because really what, what it's doing is uh, at the forefront of the digitization and changing of how people work, regardless of their location. So that's another fund that you know had a great run in 2022, we saw some outflows earlier this year, but now investors are reassessing, saying, hey, this is actually a source of potential outperformance. Right. And that symbol, folks, is uh, WFH. And there's no there's no doubt. You know, I think all the 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 our thought process have changed, Dave. OK. And I understand, you know, the bottom line is that, yeah, I mean, and I really think a lot of us are still going to be, you know, at home quite a bit. I mean, that's that's the reality. And, and if you're you're not you're, you're getting set up differently. That, that's the reality. And uh you know, this is this is this is quite an equity, also, folks. Okay, if you take a look at this, if you're watching uh, Tiger TV, when you take a look at what's inside it, um, great way to build a portfolio. That's the real bottom line. That's why I wanted to go over with our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave, you have a great one, a safe one, and of course, we look forward to speaking to you uh, two weeks from today. I think I'm going to get you before Thanksgiving. I love to have a little tur turkey talk. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one, Dave. Thanks so much for the education. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Stay right there, folks, and come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 103. We get the Nasdaq up 39. S&Ps are up 7.5. Let's go over our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see it right in the featured content. You just hit that button, you hit subscribe, you can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And one full year you can get for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you go, you get the newsletter, get it for a month, you like the newsletter, bottom line, that's great. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, guess what? You can get your money back. So check it out. Hit featured content. Hit our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, Mastering Probability, and you are off to the races. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Hey, Tom, do you use the uh, Ring uh, uh, system or app by, uh, by any chance or something like that? The what? Ring, you know, for your house, the doorbell at your house. And oh, yeah. Like I got a bunch of different ones. Yes. Yes. So I installed the, uh, the ring about a year ago. OK. And, you know, it, it is nice because obviously with all the, you know, people, Amazon folks and yep. UPS and everybody dropping off, it is nice to have that. But one of the other features that's on there is if there's something going on in your neighborhood, you know, it'll send a message. Now, this is the first time, just literally two minutes ago. OK. I get a message. It reads A1A SWAT blocked off. And it goes to describe the streets where the SWAT team has blocked up, which is just two blocks away okay. from, from, from where I'm at. So um, so it'll be kind of after after this segment, I'm going to walk outside, see if I can try to figure out what's going on. I, out there. It's there's no doubt. I, but, I know but I it's just, just cool. Cool to be aware. You know, that it, they, it, the it's actually, absolutely cool to be aware. It, it's yeah. th there's no doubt, man. I mean, because. Yeah, because that those the off chances uh, that and especially know. now, right? Especially now because you know things are a little heightened. Uh, hey, you were talking about inflation and and you know the folks that did all you have to do is go to the grocery store and buy groceries, and, and or pay gas here in Boca area. You know we paid over four fifty a gallon over the weekend. I heard for, you actually, and you did it last week because I heard you 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 paid over four bucks. Uh, I, I don't know yeah. was it Wednesday or Thursday show. It, listen, yeah. man. You know what? It is. It, it blows my mind. Well, I guess it shouldn't blow our mind, okay? Because the bottom line is that they're just they're they're too paranoid to go up. That's the bottom line. And it's not going to go up. I mean, it's, and you can see it. Rates are going down instead of going up, folks. Okay? And and Europe, it's the same way. And our rates are actually high compared to Europe. So, 
it, it is what it is. And uh, right, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go back to the markets here real quickly, uh, if we can, yep. uh, as we always discuss uh, or we take a look at often, you know, our seasonal cycle. We know that mid-October typically marks the beginning of the favorable seasonal cycle. This is the pattern for the uh, Dow over the last uh, 80 plus years out here. And this year, that uh, bottom signal for the Dow came in on October 5th. And that was a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom. So we've now got the bottom patterns in there. The other thing is that as we take a look at the Dow, this uh, switches over to the Dow equity future contract out here. The little white rectangle area, folks, is the consolidation pattern. And the cool thing about consolidation patterns is that when they're broken, they provide us with a measured move either to the upside or to the downside. That measured move is equal to uh, the consolidation. Now, the actual move itself can be equal to or greater than the consolidation. So the nice thing about this is that the Dow Equity Future contract has busted through the consolidation. When it busted through, it actually came back and tested the top of the consolidation, rejected that. And this suggests that during this favorable seasonal cycle, which should last through about the early part of January, anywhere between the uh, first and third week of January, this suggests that the Dow Equity Future contract should go target the 37,363 area. Now, folks, don't, don't hold me to all? the tick. Is that yeah, all, man? Like, yeah, no, I said equal to or greater than. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Listen, man, I, it, 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 I, I love the idea that you've walked us through this for a, you know, a long period of time, Steve, and it just blows my mind, trust me. That, you know, the lows are in, in October and we're in the best season. And I can see it. I mean, it's, it's yes. crazy, but it is what it is. Sorry. Go ahead, yeah. man. No, no, exactly. It is. And so the S&P 500 is, has got the same pattern, folks. So here I'm showing the ES Mini and we can see how price broke through the consolidation. Like the Dow, price did come back for one day, tested and rejected. And this suggests uh, that it's off to a minimum of about 4823 bucks or so, uh, you know, in that uh, area. So that's what the little bit bigger picture, at least going through the end of the year looks like. However, there's always a gotcha here. Uh, price doesn't always go up. Uh, sometimes it pulls back out here. And the S&P 500 today will generate what I refer to as a TD9 topping signal. Uh, and in a TD9 pattern, the high top can come in on bars 8, the bars 9, or the bar following nine. So I've got a couple of blue arrows out here to show some other TD9 count patterns. Now, what this is telling us is that uh, that either it has already taken place, which was Friday's high. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we've taken out uh, Friday's high yet, uh, or we could take that out tomorrow. And so by tomorrow, we should have a TD9 count topping pattern in place for the S&P 500. The first downside price target will be, again, this what I refer to as the oscillator and change line, which is currently green. Now, the, the important part about that is if we do get this TD9 count top that takes hold, price should pull back to that level. Now, right now it's printed at 46.44. As price pulls down, that level will move down a little bit or so forth. Uh, so folks, don't use that as the exact number. But if price pulls back to that level and rejects it, that really becomes the next buy point for the S&P 500 during this favorable seasonal cycle. So that was one of the reasons to show the favorable seasonal cycle, show the consolidation measure move breakout, then anticipate in the shorter term time frame what the signals are, see if price pulls back to that 4644 level and if it does that becomes the buy point during this favorable seasonal cycle. And if a top of any significance is going to form, the other thing that we want to look at, Tom, is that uh, spot volatility index. The blue line that is on this chart is the 50-day exponential moving average. Okay. And currently that's printing at about 1771. If we were to see a close above 1771, that is bad news for the S&P 500. Now, bad news would simply mean that at a minimum, we should see price pull back to that oscillator and change line level. If price closes below that, we'll have to take a look at other levels of support. The reason that I say that, and folks at home can do this, and, that would, and this is... Put a chart, put the S&P 500 on the top of the chart. At the bottom, put the uh, spot volatility index. Add to it the 50-day uh, exponential moving average, which is the red line at the uh, bottom panel. And then go ahead and mark off the uh, segments where the spot volatility index is above or below that 50-day exponential moving average. When the spot volatility index, and I've got it marked here in some of the yellow yes. rectangles or squares out there, when the spot volatility index is above that level, the 50-day exponential moving average, that's when we have these pullbacks out here. So that's what to look for. It becomes pretty easy. Not that technical analysis is easy, but if we narrow down just to a few things out here, then it becomes a little bit easier. So if we look at all four daily equity future contract, the ES, the NQ, and the Dow, 
all have these TD9 count patterns. Inside the Russell 2000, it doesn't. But the Russell 2000 cash indice, at least as of about a half an hour ago, was looking like it might form a shooting star candle. That would confirm a sell the D point. So everything is setting up here, Tom, for the markets to move higher into the end of the year. But we've got a little bit of a short-term detour. And that should be price pulling back to that oscillator and change line. I got to tell you, and folks, they, so I get coffee this morning, right? This is crazy, Steve, okay? Um, and the guy's a great, you know, bartender in the back, right, getting coffee. The bottom yes. line, he has a computer going up, right? And he, he's making coffee, and I'm looking at the computer. I says, is that crypto? He says, oh, no, no. He says, I, I trade the option market. I says, you trade spreads? He says, oh, no, I don't, I don't know what a spread is. I buy calls. <laughs> I called Tommy up. I says, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I love it. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too, Tom. Take Stay care. right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow Industrial's up 92. The Nasdaq's up 31. S&P's up 5.5. That story, when I was just talking, folks, uh, what that story's about is that when... <laughs> Now, that's not quite as bad as that in 1999, no matter where you went, folks, no matter what story you went, CNBC would be up, okay? That was the, that was the peak of the market. Um, not quite as bad as that, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, it's pretty close that uh, you're making coffee. Actually, he was roasting coffee. He's roasting coffee. He has the computer up. And um, the bottom line is, in the, and, and, and this is the best part, man, he's making money. That, that's, that's, that's the best part. There's no two ways about that. Now. Let's go over. I want to. I want to. I want to walk you through something because this I thought was really great. If you happen to be in 
the gold market. You want to understand this. Where are you now? Come on. There it is right here. Nope, not that one. Kirkland-like. I'm going to show you a KL. Let me see. So what happened is that Kirkland, Kirk, Kirkland Lake is getting bought out by an Eco Eagle, okay? Um, and what did happen is that Barrick Gold um, was actually looking at it and decided not to buy it. And I want to show you why, because you want to remember this if you are in the gold market, because... I've interviewed and actually been with Mark Bristow a lot, folks, okay? Now, this is years ago. I haven't seen him in like 10 years, but he had a booth right next to us many times, and this is when he owned Rangold, and it was, amazing. it was just amazing watching this guy anyway, but he had so much money of his own money involved in Rangold, and he still, well, he still does it Barrack, but now Barrack's so much bigger than Rangold um, that, you know, he's a smaller owner, but still millions and millions of dollars. But let me show you something here, because... I really learned a lot, too. And you want to, on a longer-term basis, okay, you want to understand this. So you had an eco eagle buy, it, and, and I'll, I'll walk you through that part of it, too. So you had, uh, earlier this week, uh, Kirkland, there we go, Kirkland Lake. Come on, get rid of all these ads, man. I don't believe these ads are in here. Okay, so earlier this week, Kirkland Lake uh, said in regulatory found that an engagement take over talks with two other unnamed companies before agreeing to be bought by an Eco Eagle. Um, Mark Bristow, the chief executive officer of Toronto-based Barrick, said in an interview that while Barrick looked at Kirkland, it, he did not see sufficient value to pull the trigger. Now, Kirkland, folks, is, 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 was on fire, does really well, but here, I want to show you why. Well, while Kirkland, now this was his reasoning, okay? Well, Kirkland's uh, Lake's high-grade Fosterville mine in Australia passes the test with flying colors. Its low-grade Detour Lake mine in northern Ontario doesn't quite fit the bill. Well, the mines all in sustaining cost are running at $937 an ounce this year. In the past, the costs have significantly higher. Given that Kirkland Lake has poss possibly another 20 years of production ahead of it, it is the long view that Mark Bristow is concerned about. So check this out. This is really, this is, what this is good to know, folks, is that if you're buying exploration stocks and you're buying, you want to get taken out, this is, to me, one of the smartest guys in the business. And he's explaining where he would buy a business. Doesn't mean that someone else won't buy it, but if we understand why he would buy it, guess what? Your probability and your speculation is going to be better. Um, when you operate a business in which you have no control over the price of the product, that the price cycles can last for decades, you have to manage your business to survive the bottom of the cycle. This is Mark talking, which is currently $1,200. So what's happening is that Barrick is looking to buy anyone where it's $1,200 that they can get gold out of the ground. And now, let me just go back to this one here because some of the folks, uh, Tigers and Tigers, will remember this. Because we own, see, see this Detour one? So Detour Lake Mine, folks, okay, what that actually was, now this is going way back, okay? What this was, we own Glamis Gold, and what ended up happening is that Glamis Gold, Gold Corp bought Glamis Gold. And that was a mistake in a big way. We were related as shareholders, okay, because they paid a fortune. That's the mine that is a good mine sometimes, but then they run into problems with some of the ore. And that is the mine that does get more expensive. Um, and then, of course, AEM bought them all. Uh, but I thought that was pretty cool just in the aspect, well, in the aspect of really understanding what CEOs that are in the business are looking for on a much longer basis. You know, right now, of course, we're 12, we're 1826. Now, what does happen here is this. There's two different numbers when you're looking um, at the financials inside the gold markets or the silver markets. They'll, they'll give you, the, you know, the price that they can get it out of the ground, but you need to know the all-in cost. Because what happens in the all-in cost, okay, that is fixing the mine after the fact bringing it back to the beginning. And that's, that's crucial to, to understand. There's no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at, uh, well, uh, 
AMD. AMD, as you talk about a little rocket ship out here this morning, uh, this thing goes topside $14. $14, 10% in one day, okay? Um, let's put this on a monthly. Yeah, it's a rocket ship. There's no two ways about it. NVIDIA is going to be up next. NVIDIA, I think it's next week they come out with their numbers. Let me see. It's, it's not... The 17th, yeah, today's the 8th. Uh, so it's actually a couple weeks. Uh, 8 and 7 and 15, yeah. Um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's up $10 right now. They're going to be looking, we, we talked about this last week. When you see these numbers, they're, they're unbelievable. So five years ago, NVIDIA only took in uh, $6.9 billion in a year. Now they're taking in $6.8 billion every 90 days. I mean, you're talking about some monster, monster numbers out here. There's no two ways about it. We're going to take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And what you have, you have, uh, oh, and this is the guy, this, this is the stock that he owned. I don't blame him. He's, he's up. They, they, so the, 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 the kid I was talking to, this is what he owns, Lucid, uh, which is a, uh, he, bought, he bought it at 10 bucks. He bought it uh, when this thing went, uh, so it must have been last year, November 9th of last year. It was 966. It was a spark. It went up to 65, came back to, I think, let's see, I was looking at this chart after. He was showing me because I was watching his computer. It was always, it was pretty cool, actually. And I'm glad he's making money, that's for sure. Yeah, so went up to 64.86, came back down to 17.25, and uh, he's waiting for it to, well, he's, out, he's already in the money. He put up 200 bucks and he's up 2,200 right now. I have to ask him tomorrow morning. I know it's a strike price. I don't know the strike price. I know it's in January, but I'll give you an update tomorrow because I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely going to uh, get by there tomorrow. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we have uh, Peloton. That's down four and a half dollars. That's that's at fifty bucks. That's going a lot lower. Apple's down seventy eight cents. You get Tilray up a buck seventy. Uh, Tilray is going to get interesting here because what Tilray did do. Uh, Tilray had a sign of strength. We had a couple calls come in. It came back to its breakout area. If you want to see how that works, man, here's the breakout. The breakout is $10.03. because goes up to uh, $11.83. Pulls back. Gets down to 10, I think it was 10.10. You get another sign of strength, man. This thing now wants to make the run to 16.67. And right now, you're at 12.41. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 100. We get the NASDAQ up 17. S&P's up four and a half. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing, Tommy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Very good. Thank you. So Freeport uh, Mac Moran. Beautiful day up here. Another one. I think you got some hey, action uh, here, man. So Well, yeah, but, you know, these things happen all the time these days, it seems. So it broke the swing high of... October 25th, and we're talking about FCX here, Freeport Mac Moran. Yep. And it's pulled back below that swing high price, but it's got the volume. Uh, how, how do you look at this? Is this a break of the B point that is a pretty good guarantee of an ABC up? It is. Um, so, okay, so when we take a look at this, okay, it's Freeport Mac Moran, folks, okay? And when you take a look at FCX, now, so check this out. I, my take on the at least the metal commodities folks okay that they really haven't stopped running yet and i don't quite understand why but you know the equities are up pretty good but not compared to the prices of some of these that, that's that's the bottom line so when yeah. you take a look at freeport mac moran i mean they're just monsters okay they do four billion four point four billion in copper no more than that eight billion in copper oh my god i mean it, it's it's a monster it's just it's huge um yeah. so when you do take a look at this, Frank, okay, we're pushing into the swing of 39.63, and you get, yeah. and you have the volume expansion. So it looks to me like it is that uh, ABC structure up to 45, 45, 45.45. 45. That's how this, okay. because you can see the expansion is pretty dramatic out here today. And when we did pull back, so watch, I, and I understand what you're saying when it's saying the pullback. So picture, if we go go to October 15th, right? Okay. 30 million shares are traded there. Then we went sideways, yep. folks, okay? Then you pull back a little. We pull back with 19 million. You went up again with, like, 19. You pull back with 19. On last Thursday, you pull back with 16. And then Friday, you see that? We only did 12, and bang, now we get 21. That's, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's a very loose, cor it's a loose correlation sometimes, you know. It, it definitely is. It definitely and, yeah. and and not only that. What what has happened, folks, is this: this consolidation that these have been in. I mean, I would love to see this thing break, man. Because if this breaks, that just means that those gold and silvers are going to break the consolidation. That you know, last three times we went up there, they failed. You know what I mean? So well, this is this is huge resistance that it's at right now. It like is thirty eight, almost it is. thirty nine. It is going back into February anyway. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about that, man. Uh, so it makes sense that it would have a tough time getting through this, but you know, it has the volume. Today. It has the volume, and also, hey, check this out. This is pretty cool, Frank. I just, I just lifted this up. Look at this. That that high is a high volume high at forty six ten. That's a good setup. You can see uh, the, the, the downdraft. Yeah. This was trying to get through, though. I can see that forty dollars to thirty four dollars. Look at that, it was 213 million shares on the weekly. The high, we got 191 million. That's what it's, it's still going through that supply line. Looks to me like it's going yeah, to make the May, it. Though. The May 7th, the May 7th high volume high. Yes. And yeah. so the, the thing, you know, for everyone that's in these commodities, folks, 
you want to keep your eye on the the dollar has been fighting over this 93 729 or 730 uh, 729 area now we're above it you know it tested the highs last week it rejected them it hasn't done much today it's down 270 ticks but that's nothing that's really a sideways move but if we get below that 93 729 again you know maybe this time it will stay below it because it's yeah. amazing to me frank that we have oil so high and the dollar is high man so it's almost telling yeah. me that the dollar is going to fail yeah. and if we get a failure then you're really going to see these commodities take a pop man because you know i mean inflation's out here in spades man i mean but oh, they haven't yeah, cut a bit. No doubt about that. <laughs> uh, seriously, man. Yeah. Uh, it Every seems like everything's up like thirty percent. I don't know where they're getting a two and a half, three percent, but you know, there's no. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Twenty-three to thirty percent seems to be the game. Do you think that gold is manipulated by countries uh, who are influencing that market? The price of gold, the metal. Not so much by countries. I would say that. You know, like all trading folks is manipulated, whether it's buy or selling. What does happen because there's there's so many people that make so much money shot in gold. There's no doubt in gold stocks. I mean, that's a reality. Do you know what I mean? We have them in the uh, den. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. a small market. They keep selling into them until they can't until it really go in our gold to go in we need like a forty dollar day in these stocks to really go to have people stop shotting them. I mean so I I really think it's a you can get a couple large funds, but I think it's a lot of people, just like me and you, Frank, but they're on the other side of this. Do you know what I'm saying? So the, so the $20 day last week wasn't enough. Huh? No, that's that's good. That's good. But we need, I want to see like a, I want to see like a $40 day. Yeah. yeah heavier than that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because that's <laughs> that's what should be happening here. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah. the reality. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Because it's that. Not that I'm getting, in, not that I'm getting impatient. I can be patient with this. I Listen. Same here. It's and it's it's you know as we're speaking about this, folks. It's really hard to just even kind of explain because there's no explaining to do that. Okay, why hasn't it moved? You know, yeah, it, it's moved off its lows, but you know, as to the amount of inflation that we're talking out here, gold has not moved. <laughs> you know, yeah. that, that's yeah. that's the reality. Cooking, brother. All right, thank you, sir. Frank, thanks so much for the business, too. I really appreciate it, man. Hey, no sweat. I'm thank happy you. to do it. Thanks, man. But, uh, appreciate Tiger, it. Tiger Fund is great. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a great yep. one. Have a safe one. Let's go to Rich in Orlando. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Hey, good, Tom. How about yourself? Good, man. Good. Good. Well, I've called a couple times in the past about these pop stocks. Yeah. And uh, today with Tilray, we seem like we got some... Some real strength off the bottom, and I was wondering, what are your thoughts, sir? Yeah, I, I listen. That and one of the other tigers just gave me a heads up on the canopy that these could be the bottoms, man. Yeah, if you own it, I think are you the one that called first, right? Did you call before when I said come back to the breakout uh, nothing, area? No, no, not no. Today. That was Robert from Kansas but, City. You know, last, about a week or so ago, ten days ago, we talked about it. Yeah, and we were still kind of looking for. You know, when it came in, what was it, the 18th or so in October there, when it uh, kind of came off the bottom, I, yeah, I well, called it, asking it, if you thought that that was a strength off the bottom, and you didn't think quite it was right yet. Yeah, so, so it, it it basically tested that to a tremendous, tremendously light of volume. No, I, I, I'd i bite. I'd bite right now. Yeah. I, I, well, so, Tilray Til, Til so, looks like it's going to go to 1667 pretty quick, man. If you go over to Canopy, yeah, Canopy, I mean, you know. Yeah, the, uh, Mary Jane also, MJ, uh well, we know once they start moving, man, they they move like beyond belief. Because what's what's also going on is that the let me just see what the sharp positions are. This is a, this is a situation, folks, that there is so much money made in the way down. Yeah, Canopy has a twelve point eight percent sharp position. Uh, TLRY, you got Tilray, that has an eight eight point eight. That that's th those are those are good sharp positions if you're going long. Anything over ten is really big. You know what I mean? Super. Cooking, great, brother. Listen, thanks so much. I appreciate have, have it. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials right now up 106. We get the NASDAQ up 5. S&P's up 4. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up buck twenty-two. We got the Nasdaq uh, up twelve. S and P's up five and a half. If you uh, take a look at the uh, NDX, uh, you got it uh, in the negative slightly. But there's no big sellers out here, man. Let's, uh, let, even if we go, let's go to the futures. Take a look at that future contract. Um, you know, you're down nineteen right now. We had a high today of uh, three ninety-four. You're at three thirty-one. That's not big for the uh, NDX one hundred. That. Uh, now, sometimes you see the NDX 100 move 40 points in, in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, it's been consolidating out here. In fact, yeah, you can see. So what it, look, look at this. this is, if, you, if you trade intraday, folks, you, you want to wrap your head around um, these high-volume ticks because we got one this morning at 1040, um, and then it goes higher. It has light with lighter volume. Bang, it just come down and, and hit it again. And when it hit it, it didn't have enough sellers. It hit it with uh, 11,000. Uh, contracts while well, you're going into 16,000. Then what you look at is that, okay, the, the first pop-up this morning was, it was a good pop, but you're not, but you had 29,000 shares. Your next one up there had 66, I mean, 6,000 versus 29,000. That's what backs it down. This is going to stay in a consolidation. Um, you just, all you do is keep measuring back and forth, back and forth, uh, intraday. That's kind of how you, you, you work those babies out, folks, okay? And to see where the buyers, where the sellers are, and how much force in the marketplace is on, either on the way down or on the way up. It gives you a, a, basically a decent understanding of how these markets move, particularly 
when what we had there on the way up, you can see that it died in the vine, and on the way down, the same deal. So the bottom line, it's a lot easier, folks, getting a stock to go lower than higher, you know. That, that's just kind of how the market runs. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Yeah, look at him, folks. Mm -hmm.